Hi there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. Today in this video, we will be talking about some of productivity tips that you can utilize with Microsoft Office Suite. So we will be talking about productivity tips, not only of a single software, but we will cover three, which is Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with Microsoft Word first. So here let me click on menu and here I'm opening Microsoft Word. Okay, so the first one is a read aloud functionality. We can utilize this feature to read aloud any document. So let me quickly open Word document and here we can see there is nothing. So actually I'm gonna utilize the voice typing tool to write here something. So let me actually click on it. Hi there everyone, this is test video on read aloud functionality, full stop, as well as we are also testing the capability of Microsoft voice typing and the one that I am currently using is the universal one. The another dictation function that is available in built inside Microsoft Word is this one, full stop. I hope this is good enough now let's try read aloud feature so what does this feature do so as i said this feature going to read your text aloud helping you to catch any awkward phases or typos you might overlook so where we can find this feature for that we need to click here on review tab and there we go now let me click on read aloud hi there everyone this is test video on read and aloud functionality. Alas, we are also testing the capability of Microsoft. So in this way, guys, we can utilize read aloud functionality. And here on the top right corner, you will see some kind of control that lets you enable to control the whole playback. Not only you can read aloud using a female voice, but here in setting, you can also see the male voice is also present. And then you can also control the reading speed. So in this way guys we can utilize this read aloud feature the next and a very powerful feature that i'm going to talk about is smart lookup that you can actually find by selecting any word and then making a right click and here we go here we can see the smart lookup icon so what basically smart lookup do it's going to pull up information and definition from wikipedia from internet right inside microsoft word and let me click here and select this smart lookup where i have selected microsoft and there we go on the right hand side we can see some of the top result of microsoft and um you know you can also filter it out let's say you only want media and if you want to use it you can also filter it out using this creative common filter only that's going to save you from downloading any unauthorized image isn't it cool guys the next and third option that i would like to discuss with you is a dictation function Although I just typed the whole paragraph using voice typing that you can always activate using Windows and Edge, but there is a dedicated dictation function available inside Microsoft Word that you can utilize by going to Home tab and then you can click here on this dictate. So once I clicked on it, now here you can see the dictation tool started listening to me and as i'm speaking it is actually converting my words to text full stop and there we go you can see it also recognize the punctuation as well as full stop not only that you also have an option to enable <laughs> auto punctuation so once you enable it it now will automatically put full stop comma for you so it is pretty simple you just need to enable it Full stop. Next line. Previous line. So these are some of you know common phrases that you can use apart from auto punctuation. Full stop. This is really going to help you to write a long long article in just few minutes. Isn't it cool guys? 
Now let's jump into our another section where we're going to talk about three productivity tool inside Microsoft Excel. So let me quickly open Microsoft Excel now. So Excel sometimes can be intimidating, but there are some tools that are definitely going to help you out by reducing effort that you need to put from your side by intelligently understanding the user's need. So I would say Microsoft Excel is a very intelligent software in that perspective and that we can witness by seeing the capability of Flash Fill. And that is also our first tips or tool that we're going to talk about inside Microsoft Excel. Let's say I am writing Suresh here. And then um, let me write it like name and then this is email. Now if I again write Suresh at the rate Now if I write here Mahesh and then email address I'm gonna write Mahesh and here even I am writing it's not working seems like the flash fill is not enabled here by default so let me quickly show you how you can enable it as well for that what we need to do is we need to go to file and then here in menu we need to select option which is on the bottom and here we need to go to advanced tab so let's click here on advanced and now here we can see this editing option now here we need to ensure that this flash fill is enabled. So here we can see this is enabled. We write Suresh again and there we go. Here we can see it was able to recognize Suresh and you know I just pressed SU and the whole name was predicted by software. So in this way guys we saw the capability of flash fill so here i am trying to write m and the software is capable enough to make some suggestion so this is one example of flash fill another example you can see uh, which i would say is autocomplete so let's say you want to write numbers till 10 so you just need to provide some context to excel by providing three values and based on the pattern the excel is smart enough to recognize the whole pattern so in this way guys we can utilize flash fill now let's talk about 3d models now let's jump into our another productivity tips sometime we really want to show or explain things um, utilizing 3d model so now we will see how you can import 3d model inside microsoft excel for that here you can click on insert now here you can see this 3d model then based on your need you can choose either of these options so if you are new here then i would suggest you to go with stock 3d so that you can understand first and then you can import so um let's say i want to use giraffe so i can select it and now i am actually trying to find out this animal okay so here we go now we can click on insert there we go here we can see we have placed a giraffe 3d model and guess what you can always play with this model and can place the way you want isn't it cool guys so you can utilize this feature as well inside microsoft excel now let's talk about one of very popular and very powerful tool inside microsoft excel which is known as power query power query lets you manage data from different sources pretty easily you will find power query inside data tab and here you
Not only that, Power Query can combine filters and manipulate data from various sources. Now let's jump into our third application, which is one of my favorite app guys. And I am here talking about Microsoft PowerPoint. Now inside PowerPoint, I'm going to discuss with you three tools. And the first one is Morph tool. So the Morph tool help you to create a beautiful parallax effect that is very easy to generate in few clicks. This particular feature you will only find with latest version of Microsoft Office or Office 36. Now let's talk about another capability which is Zoom for PowerPoint. This feature helps you to enhance your presentation navigation with Zoom feature. You can create an interactive summary slide and lets you jump into any section in your presentation. Now let me quickly show you how we can utilize Zoom for PowerPoint now um, let me open one presentation now here you can see i have opened a dummy presentation in order to try zoom feature in powerpoint what we need to do is we need to click here and then we can add new slide let me actually place it here on the top and now we need to click here on insert and here we can see this option which says zoom just click on that and now you can click on summary zoom so now here you can select all these slides and then click on insert so this basically will add thumbnail of all selected slide so this act as a home page slide that you can turn throughout your presentation so let me quickly demonstrate you for that i'm gonna go to slide show tab and i'm gonna click on from beginning and here we go now we just need to click on the slide where i want to go for example this one so I simply clicked here. You can see how easy it was to go there. Now I just need to rotate my mouse scroll wheel. And in this way, guys, we reached back to the same place. Now let's say I want to see this one. Then I can again click on it. And in this way, guys, the page that I want to see got opened up. So in this way, guys, we can utilize some resume feature. In the same way, guys, we can also try this section zoom and slide zoom. The slide zoom insert a thumbnail of a under slide in the current slide. This is used to reference a single slide somewhere into our presentation. While the section zoom is like a slide zoom, but for entire section. The last tool that I'm going to talk with you about is known as presenter coach. So presenter coach basically rehearse with you and provide crucial feedback. And in order to go to presenter coach, what we need to do is we need to go to slideshow option. And there you will see rehearse timing. Just need to click here on rehearse training. So in this way guys the presenter coach provide a detailed report with matrices and suggestion for improvement and the good thing is the presenter coach listen to you but does not store any data after your session ends this i would say is great news guys especially for those who has a privacy related concern so microsoft here have keep this thing in their mind so that's all guys from my side in this video. I hope that you find this video helpful and informational. If yes, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more such content. And I will catch you soon in my next video. Till then you take care and bye bye.